financial support for Donald Trump's campaign may be off to a rough start days after launching his campaign, and it's apparently happening on Palm Beach. WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Sesney live for us tonight outside Mar-a-Lago. Matt. Yeah, Shannon, Donald Trump's home here has been more than a home over the years. It's been a place for many of his wealthy friends to spend winter days and nights. And now that he's running for president again, it seems some of those wealthy friends are not anxious to go reaching for their checkbooks. Mar-a-Lago still draws them in, people willing to travel and see Donald Trump's home. It's part of 100%. Marian Johnson came here from Oklahoma, and her support for Trump has sometimes been financial. I have a while back, yeah. Do you think you'll do it again? Um, I think you can support him in many ways, so I don't think you necessarily have to send money. The campaign based at Mar-a-Lago may have hit some rough seas in its first week. Two big billionaires, Ronald Lauder and Stephen Schwartzman of Blackstone, have made it public they will not be sending Trump money this time around. Lawrence Lemer is the author of Mar-a-Lago, Inside the Gates of Power at Donald Trump's Presidential Palace. Schwartzman is a member of Mar-a-Lago. He's a friend. He lives up the road. And he's a very shrewd man. And that he is backing off from Trump is, is very telling and very important. And in fact, there are signs that many Republicans may not be quick to back Trump and may in fact be waiting for Florida's governor. And right now what they're playing with is the idea that they can find a substitute that will satisfy the base's uh, needs, interests, wants. And if they can find it, <laughs> cough, cough, uh, DeSantis, then, then, then they'll run that way. Such actions, though, can anger Trump and also have a cost. Who knows? I mean, I've been kicked out of Mar-a-Lago for life because of the book I wrote, so maybe Mr. Schwarzman will be staying home, too. Indeed, he has. Author Lawrence Lemer uh, says that Trump demands loyalty from people, and he's looking for that right now. And it not only appears as if the money is slow, so too, apparently, is some support from elected Republicans around the country. We're live on Palm Beach. Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.